Hello everyone. In this lesson today, we will study 1A. How are you? Okay. So before we study, let's look at this photo and let's see how many people in this photo. How many people in this photo? Okay, let's count them together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we have twelve people. And how many men do we have? How many men? Men, plural of man, men. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven men. And how many women? Women, plural of women. So women, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have seven men and five women. And where are these people? These people are in a hotel. Okay, and this is the reception of the hotel. Okay, and what can we see in the photo? What can we see in the photo? Yeah, let's start from the right. We have here a coffee table, two cups, army chairs, suitcase, a bag, some magazines, a TV, and this is another uh, bag or small suitcase and the reception clock then we have yeah this is another bag here handbag this is handbag and yeah another suitcase jacket yes and we have different colors here what are the colors yeah we have the carpet is like dark blue with yellow light blue pink yeah, white yeah, different colors okay so in this um, photo we have some people talking together they talk together here we have these two people conversation one and conversation two we have these people three people and another conversation here conversation three two people Conversation four, three people. Conversation five, again here, we have two people. Okay, so let's see conversation number one. How many people we have? Two people, Lisa and Tom. So here we have Lisa and Tom. Okay. Hello, Tom. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thanks. So, Lisa and Tom, are they friends? Yes, they are friends. Why? Because Lisa says, Hello, Tom. She knows the name. And Tom says, Hi, Lisa. So, they know the names. So, they are friends. So, say, Hello, Tom. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? So, here... When I say, uh, someone ask me, for example, how are you? I answer, I say, I am fine. This is number one. Number two, thanks. Because he asks me, I say, I am, uh, I am fine, thanks. And after that, I ask again, and you? So, three steps. Number one, I am fine. Number two, thanks. Number three, and you? Okay, so what's the answer? The answer, I am okay, thanks. Here, we can say, for example, I am okay, or you can say fine or good. All the same. You can say, hi, Lisa, how are you? I am fine, I am okay, I am good. All are good answers 
Okay. And let's listen to the um, conversation here. This is the conversation. Let's listen. Track 12. One. Hello, Tom. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm OK, thanks. Okay, if you want to listen again, you can repeat the video and listen again and practice. Okay, now let's move to conversation number two. Now let's look at conversation number two. We have uh, Paolo, Bianca and Tushi. Are all of them friends? No. Not friends, not all. Why? Because Paolo say, Bianca, this is Toshi. So Paolo is a friend with Bianca and friend with Toshi. Okay? But Bianca and Toshi, they are not friends. So here, this is introduction. For example, <clears throat> I have my friends, um, Ahmed. I go with my friends Ahmad to the mall. After that, I see my friends, another friend, for example, Mustafa. So Ahmad is my friend, Mustafa is my friend, but Mustafa and Ahmad, they are not friends. So I introduce Ahmad to Mustafa or Mustafa to Ahmad. I say, for example, Ahmad, this is Mustafa or Mustafa, this is Ahmad, okay? So Bianca, this is Tushi. And Bianca says, hello Tushi, nice to meet you. After that, Tushi say, uh, says, you too. So in this conversation here, you can answer. You can say, for example, you too, or, and you, or, nice to meet you too okay what about if i want to say uh me too can i say me too no me too if someone says i love you you say me too i like you me too okay but with uh, nice to meet you no so we have three options here but uh, me too, we don't write it. it, it'll be wrong. Okay, guys, so let's listen. Okay. Track 13, two. Bianca. This is Toshi. Hello, Toshi. Nice to meet you. You too. Okay, and again, if you want to practice, you can repeat the video and practice. Okay, now let's move to exercise number three. In exercise number three, we have vocabulary and speaking, countries and nationalities. Countries and nationalities. Number three here, tick the countries you know. First of all, we can read all and see if I know the, the country or no. Brazil, Australia, Argentina, the USA, Germany, Italy, Mexico, Russia, Egypt, the UK, Spain, Poland, Turkey, China, Japan, and France. Now we have countries and nationalities. For example, I am from Brazil. My nationality, my passport is Brazilian. I am Brazilian. 
I am from Brazil. I am from the country, from the place. I am from Brazil. I am Brazilian. Australia. What we write here? Uh huh. So we have a n, and we will write again the same. We will write a n here. Australian. Okay, so it will be Brazil, Brazilian, Australia, Australian. Okay, so take a minute, write all the letters here. And the same here, the UK British, we add I S H, you fill in the gaps. China, Chinese, E S E, you fill in the gaps. Okay, stop the video, write it. If you have the book, if you don't have the book, write it in a piece of paper. After that, check. So we will check together. We will go to page 128. Okay, let's go. And vocabulary 1.1. Here language summary, page 128, okay, 1.1 1 .1 countries, nationalities, and languages. Here country, we say I am from Brazil, nationalities, I am from, I am Brazilian, language, I speak Portuguese. So people in Brazil, they don't speak Brazilian. We don't have a language, uh, a Brazilian language. The language is Portuguese and Australia, Australian, they speak English. Argentina, Argentinian, they speak Spanish. The USA, American, English. Germany, German, they speak German. Italy, Italian, Italian. Mexico, Mexican, Spanish. Again, in Mexico, people don't speak Mexican, they speak Spanish. Russia, Russian, Russian. Egypt, Egyptian. Again, they speak Arabic. The UK, British, English. Spain, Spanish, Spanish. Poland, Polish, Polish. Turkey, Turkish, Turkish. China, Chinese, Chinese. Japan, Japanese, Japanese. France, French, French. So we have uh, the, the people that, who speak different uh, a language that different from their country. Okay, they are here. Okay, Brazil, Brazilian, Portuguese. And here, Argentina, Argentinian, Spanish. And Again here, Spanish and Egypt, they speak Arabic, okay? Yeah, and of course, you know that USA speak English, the UK speak English, Australia speaking, uh, speak English. Mm. Okay, so now let's talk about stress. Yeah, what's stress? For example, here we have Brazil, okay? Brazil is a word, how many syllables, how many parts? When I say syllables means part, okay? So we have two parts, okay? Let's say it here, bra, and we have, okay? Two syllables, or we say uh, two parts, or we say two syllables, okay? And where is the stress? The stress is the, the part that we say it strongly, strong. So here we have, this is the stress here, okay? So we say Brazil. We don't say Brazil, Brazil. No, if we can do it in another way, for example, we can make it two parts, okay, bra then this is the big one zel so we say brazil two parts the stress on the second part 
Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Let's have another example, another one. For example, here, let's see. Okay, let's see Egypt, for example. Egypt. Mm -hmm. Egypt. So you have two parts Egypt. Egypt. Stress on E. And here, if you notice, in the nationality, we say Egyptian. Egyptian. So we say this is here, Jib. This is the part with the stress. It changes. Look, Egypt, but here, Egyptian. 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 Change the place of stress. So you can say the word in a correct way. Okay, what about Spain here? Spain. No stress. Why? Because it's only one syllable. If the word one syllable, we don't put stress. If the word two syllables, one of the syllables, we put stress. We say Spain. Spain. One, one syllable. Okay, so now, um, in America, he will say the USA, look, we have, uh, we put the here, so we have the USA, then the UK, the only two countries we have uh, the is USA and UK, the others we don't say the Brazil, the Australia, no, so we say the USA, why? Because uh, states uh, together about 51 I guess states okay together group of states together we say the USA USA the United States of uh, the, the United States of America the UK we say here the United Kingdom about five countries uh, uh, England Wales uh, Scotland North Ireland and South uh, Ireland the UK and we always start, we always start the country with capital letters, guys. Always capital letters. Look, capital letters, okay? You can't start the country, nationality, or the, the language with small. No, always capital, all of them. Okay, so now let's listen to all of them. Okay, so we can practice. Let's just go bring the, uh, the audio. Okay, the audio is here. Okay, then let's go again to the page 128. Let's put it. Track 14. Brazil. Brazilian. Australia. Australian Argentina Argentinian The USA American Germany German Italy Italian Mexico Mexican Russia Russian Egypt Egyptian The UK British Spain 
Spanish. Poland. Polish. Turkey. Turkish. China. Chinese. Japan. Japanese. France. French. Okay, guys, so now if you want to listen again, and it's better to listen like three, four, five times and practice. Okay, and be careful with the stress. For example, lots of students will say Brazil and it's wrong. You say Bra, Brazil. Okay, and here, for example, Egypt. Be careful. You don't say Egyptian, no, Egyptian. The stress place um, changes, okay? Let's go back to the lesson. Okay, now let's do exercise uh, number five. Let's look at these uh, conversations here. We have, let's see, in conversation number three, how many gaps we have? I am from, and we have one gap. Okay, then let's see conversation number four. How many gaps? We have one gap. We are from, then conversation number five. How many gaps? One, two, and three, okay? So now we will listen, okay, to uh, these people talking together, three conversations, number three, four, and five, and fill in the gaps. Let's put it here, first of all. Track 15. Okay, now we can see all of them. Okay, so listen and fill in the gaps. Track 15. Three. Good morning. What's your name, please? It's Carlos Moreno. And where are you from? I'm from Spain. Four. What are your names, please? My name's Daniel Ross, and this is Kelly Easton. Where are you from? We're from Australia. Welcome to the conference. You're in room six. Five. Where's he from? He's from Italy. OK. And where's she from? She's from Brazil. Right. And where are they from? They're from the UK, I think. OK, guys, so now if you want to listen again, you can repeat it. OK, then we will check together. <clears throat> okay, so here we say I am from number three. Let's see, I am from the answer is Spain. Spain this is the answer. Then number four, we are from the answer is Australia. Australia. Number five, he is from Italy, she's from Brazil, and they're from the UK. Okay, now we will study 
grammar in exercise number six b positive and wh questions okay guys so verb to be in the present symbol first of all we have the subject pronouns what are the subject pronouns in english we have i he she it they we you with i we have the verb to be am so we say i am from italy he she it is he is from italy she is from italy it is from italy after that they we you they are from italy okay we are from italy you are from italy now the contraction here we have the contraction okay for example again say i am we say i'm he is he's she is she's it is it's they are there we are we're you are your okay after that say from italy so we say i'm from italy he's from italy she's from italy it's from italy there we're you're from italy so this is the contraction okay contraction means i am put together i'm he is he is they are there okay and these are the contractions we say contraction m apostrophe m contraction r apostrophe r contraction is apostrophe s okay so we say i am i'm i am okay fill in the gaps after that we will see the uh, the board okay now after we finish okay we say fill in the gaps with are or is contraction is okay so here we have where are you from we have are because you okay uh, one minute do the exercise after that you will check stop the video after that you will check So the answer here will be number two is, number three is, contraction is, four contraction is, five are and six are, okay? So let's write them, uh, where he wears, contraction is, okay? And she wears, she and here your name what's what's your name what your names names plural so we have what are what are what are and where they from are okay where are they from so guys very important here very important wh wh question plus okay contraction is for example we say where's okay we can write it no problem okay but when i say for example where wh question plus r okay we say for example where rar okay uh, this is no we cannot write it like this okay so this is wrong 
jetzt wurde jetzt hier. Okay, so here we say WH question with contraction is this okay? WH question with R contraction R, we know we don't we don't do it, so it's wrong here. Okay, so always after WH question R normal no contraction. That's why here we have R or is contraction is okay. Okay, now let's listen to these sentences and practice. So all the sentences here, okay? So you can listen and practice. You can repeat it again and again and again until you practice everything. Track 16. I'm from Spain. You're in room six. He's from Italy. She's from Brazil. It's Carlos Moreno. We're from Australia. They're from the UK. Where are you from? Where's he from? Where's she from? What's your name? What are your names? Where are they from? Okay, guys, now let's move to exercise number eight. In exercise number eight, we will fill in the gaps. Look here, we will fill in the gaps with these uh, words, contraction M, contraction R, R, or contraction is, okay? For example, where are? No contraction because WH question. Where are? Now, we have here they. After they, we write are. So, where uh, they, but contraction, there. Okay? So, we say there. Now, stop the video for one minute. Finish the exercise. After that, check with me. Okay, so after you finished, of course, we say their names, names plural, so we say what are their names, what are their names. Now here, his name, his name is singular, so his name, his name is, okay, so his name's Hanif and her name, her name again is singular, so we say apostrophe s so what your names again are because your names plural our names names plural we say are and we don't do contraction here no contraction here why no contraction because we have s plural we don't write contraction after s plural so our names are okay then we have where you from you 
where are and I from I'm contraction am okay I'm from Germany and he he contraction is okay so this is all the answer now let's move to the next exercise here in this exercise we need to look at this exercise again and we have here these words there his her your our okay these are what possessive adjectives possessive adjectives and here we have subject pronouns subject pronouns so all of these are the subject pronouns and here we will fill in the gaps with possessive adjectives okay so I we write my what about you which one your your let's make it smaller 18 okay so your then he mm -hmm. his very good his then we have she her it it's we our and they there okay so here we have there okay and we will uh, explain the meaning of these um, words okay for example I will say I am Nasser okay So here we say, my name is Nasser. He is Hussam, for example. So we say he is Hussam. So we say his name is Hussam. She is Hanan. Her name is Hanan. They are Hussam and Hanan. We say their names are Hussam and Hanan. Okay, so let's see here together. Where is the subject? I am Nasser. The subject pronoun is I. The subject pronoun here, he and she and they. Okay, so now where is the verb to be? Am, is is are so anything before verb to be is subject or subject pronoun anything before verb to be okay now here where is the verb to be am again uh, sorry I is and 
is is are okay so where is the subject pronoun here the subject pronoun before verb to be before verb to be we have subject so my name is the subject his name is the subject her name and their names okay so when i write i will say here say subject plus b okay so subject plus verb to be now subject as we said is this is the subject and the verb to be this is the verb to be okay so i is the subject he is subject but what about my name my name ah. so subject here we have possessive adjective okay plus noun this is all the subject after that we have the the verb to be so verb to be again here and possessive adjective so always possessive adjectives comes with nouns after possessive adjectives we can't write verb to be for example can i say um, here i name is nasser i name is nasser or for example i write my is new so both of them are wrong sentences okay i can't write this or this why because after subject i need verb to be i am after that you write anything and here my 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 what here look we need noun my car for example after that there to be is new so again we can't write uh here uh, we we write write subjects after that verb to be or possessive adjectives after that noun after that verb to be so you can't write su uh, subject pronoun with a noun you can't write possessive adjectives with verb to be i hope it's clear okay now the last exercise Exercise number 10. We do it. Okay. We fill in the gaps. Choose, uh, sorry, choose the correct words. Okay. So, what are your names or your names? So, here we say, What are your names? After your, we have what? We have noun. So, here number two we names or our names uh -huh. we choose our why because after our we have a noun after the noun we have there to be okay stop the video finish the exercise after that check with me okay so number three where are you from 
we from the USA or our from the USA of course we because we don't write verb to be after possessive adjective so we choose we where are from where are they from he is or his is again he because we have verb to be is and she again here verb to be she is what are they names or their names we have a noun so their names and he names or his names very good so we say his names Louis and her names Hiroko okay so that was the lesson okay 1a how are you of course here we have um, an exercise on page 104 109 but this exercise you need to be two together and you practice in pairs okay uh, to practice how to ask a question about uh, what's his name what's her name what are they from okay so i hope everything is clear for you thank you and goodbye